So as you probably know, London was an old Roman city. All Roman cities were surrounded by walls. Well, whenever the Romans left, they didn't take their walls with them. They're still here. And then over the years, people just like built on top of the city. So here in this building, we see this whole area where there used to be walls around the city. And in the 1980s, there was an excavation going on and old Roman walls are still existing. So this is probably like a bank or something that we're staring in. But take a look at that. That's from like 100 AD, you guys. You guys, check it out. The Burj is up here though. Look what I found. We see walls. Look how good those look. 2,000 years old, and they're still supporting this massive structure above us. How cool is this? So all around London, there's parts of the old Roman wall that you can go see. And they usually just sit in a bunch of these buildings. So you can walk in, you can go see the wall, and it's super, super cool. Now one thing that's awesome about this wall is that it's literally right next to a coffee shop which I need the coffee. So we're gonna go now to get the coffee shop. Coffee! Now check this place out. One thing about London that I like is the coffee is really, really good. So don't go into like Starbucks or Coast or Pret. Go find these little coffee shops. Like check this place out. You have all of these fresh baked goods. You can grab some muffins. You can grab all sorts of things. Look how cute this is. We're almost ready to go to my next favorite spot of London. So, see you when we get there. Hi. So, we're almost to my next favorite spot, but there's two things I need to show you first. So as you're walking down in London, sometimes like different stuff changes where you're at. So just like stay aware and check it out. So when you're in what they call the city of London, all of the posts and stuff are really pretty like this. And I just think it's cool. And there's also usually really pretty signages on the door. So check out this one. Across from us, you guys, we see another scavenger hunt point. So this is where Tubby Clayton used to live. Brrr, up here, see? So if you know who he was, this was his old house. So I'm now gonna go show you something else really really cool so we're walking standing walking whatever we're moving right now next to an underground station but the thing that we're going to lies right in front of us so we just saw the city the city walls the roman walls in the other building now this right here in front of us is exactly part of the same roman walls from like 100 a.d check this out like it's literally sitting here right in the middle of London, you guys. Let's go touch it. Touch the wall. Touch the wall. Touch Roman wall. Roman wall touched. Achievement accomplished. Dun -dun. So down here to the right of the Roman walls, we see now the Tower of London. Now the Tower of London has got to be one of the biggest tourist attractions in London. It's where a lot of famous people happened and lived there. It's where bonfire night stuff, all of that sort of stuff happened. It's really, really cool to go visit and go inside. Now I've gone inside there. We're not going inside there though, because you can go watch the bougie vloggers. They'll go inside there. How do I get down? Oh, I'm going this way. I'm gonna show you now the part of the Tower of London that I really like. It's free and it's super awesome. So we are gonna go down as if we're entering Tower Hill Station. But, it's like, we're not gonna enter. We're gonna go to the left. And to the left, there's this little pedestrian bridge that we're just gonna go under. You'll see it's right next to the Roman wall that we can stare at one more time with a nice statue of the Emperor Trajan. So this was the guy that kind of grew everybody up into, or grew everybody. Mr. Trojan expanded the Roman Empire way up here. 
Now down in Bucharest, we saw all of the pillars and stuff that he built up. He was way up here too. So cool. So let's follow all of these people. Okay, so in front of us, we see the acclaimed Tower of London. Bum bum. We also see the Shard. So the Shard, I'll tell you some facts about the Shard and why you should not go there. The Shard was built to be a bougie hotel and a bougie, like a apartment hotel sort of thing. So apartments on some floors, hotels on other floors. Now hotel wise, okay, whatever, sure. People always need a place to stay. Apartment wise, it failed and it failed because it's not in the right postcode. See, if you have money and if you're gonna spend money on a building, you don't want an E or an S in your postcode. You want to be in a W, an N, and C, which are all of the central London postcodes. So it failed because literally it was just built on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> Let's jump cut and I'm gonna show you Tower of London, how I love to appreciate it when I'm down here. And yes, I go multiple times a year because I love this place. Okay, so one thing I like where we're at is there's so much lore in this castle. So allegedly it's like where Henry VIII beheaded Anne Boleyn. They're also right in front of us is where they used to store like all of the bears and tigers and lions. See, for whatever reason, it was popular for kings to imprison animals, which I guess now the public imprisons animals. But they were just like down here. So he had like an entire zoo. And because of where it's at, all of the people around here could just come and check out all of these animals, exotic animals that he had. Okay, pro tip. If you go to the Tower of London, you need to pre-book it's always busy like especially after COVID lifted so here this is the massive line for the booking and we're not going in there we're going to the right of the line because we're rock stars one thing that I will point out is that we still have a lot of the Queen's symbols here and I kind of like that because I don't know if anyone likes Charles. Maybe he should have been nicer to Diana. Just saying, that was his choice. All right, in front of us, we also have Tower Bridge. See, if you're going into the Tower of London, you can't see both Tower of London and Tower Bridge at the same viewpoint, but we can because we're awesome. So maybe you wanna go into the Tower of London, but you forgot to book tickets. Maybe you don't wanna wait in line. Maybe you don't wanna pay the money. One thing that I like about it is that when you go to the right of that queue that I showed you, there's all sorts of signs that you can still see and learn about the Tower of London. So you can still get a little bit of an adventure even though you don't go inside. And I kind of think it's a little bit better out here. I could be biased though. When I ran my marathon, I did a lot of training around this area. So yeah, I guess I'm very biased, but this is the best side of Tower of London that I think there is. Inside is always really, really busy, and out here it's just kind of cool. Because also to the right of the Tower of London, we see the Thames River. Thames River, whoa, camera straight. And then, of course, Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge is not to be confused with London Bridge. Now, London Bridge, what is it? So you can see London Bridge in the distance. There's a red bus going over it right now. So London Bridge used to be this bridge that had like a lot of shops built up and houses built up. It used to be the biggest lived in bridge in all of the world at the time. Well, there were some fires and there were some plagues and then people realized that it wasn't so great to live on a bridge. So they stopped living on a bridge and then Tower Bridge was constructed. And now Tower Bridge, a lot of people like to confuse Tower Bridge with London Bridge. No, 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 two different things. So yeah, let's go continue walking around and I'll show you more. So here, uh, in front of us, you can see a part of the Zabierto. It was Zabierto for all of the baddies. So back in the day when this castle was in use, they would float the baddies down the Thames. They would raise the water in here and this is where you would enter before you went into prison. Or, you know, if you needed to float in some giraffes or some other animals, they'd also come in here too. So yeah, I think that's kind of cool. And this has been in use since the 13th century. 
So it's kind of cool that it's still standing. So if you want the best shots of Tower Bridge, you have to go under the bridge and like literally go east of the city. Because just check this out. So over here, you can actually see all of the bridge. And this is one of my favorite viewpoints of London. You can see the shard in the background. The red bus is going over it. And then you see all of these ships in the Thames. Now there's a variety of different ships that you can take in the Thames. And I would highly recommend you don't take a tourist ship. Now there's a tourist ship and there's like an actual commuter ship that goes in the Thames. I like the commuter ship better. Why? It's about 25% as much, 75% cheaper than the tourist ships. And you can go to some really cool places. So we're gonna go to one of those places right now. First, I need to go walk back over to the Uber boat thingy. And then it's one of my most favorite activities to do here. So we're gonna go do that. See you soon. We're going on this Uber boot. Way in. So our next ship, you can see Putney, Parking Riverside, Westminster. Our next one looks to be two minutes away. Now check out all of these places to sit, you guys. Okay, so this is why this is way better than the touristy thing. You can sit outside and I'll show you more. So we're on a boat that looks like that boat. So now one of the other reasons I like these boats is because they have washrooms. And if you're on this boat for the entire distance, you're here for like an hour, so it's really nice. So washrooms on the Thames River boat are on the outside. Bunk, washroom, garbage is here. And if you're not wanting to sit outside, you can sit inside. And they have these nice seats. And there's this nice cafe. So, Say you want to have a booze cruise, you can actually do that here. So they sell alcohol, they sell soft drinks, they sell coffee, they sell snacks, which I think is pretty cool because you never know when you're just going to want to sit down and have a beer as you stare at the city of London. Like this is one of the best things in London that you guys need to do. You can also sit at the front of the ship. So if you're sitting indoors, try to sit in the front of the ship. You can see where you're going and all the stuff in front of us. Now, I prefer sitting outside, rain or sun or windy, because I just think it's super, super cool to be like on the Thames River outside in a boat. So we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna get you some cool shots and then we're gonna go to the next spot of London you've got to visit. Thank you.